here with Andrew Klein, who is the Director of Marketing at BitPay. Thanks so much for chatting with me. Thank you. Now, you were traditionally in the world of traditional finance, but now you've moved into the cryptocurrency world. And I just wanted to talk to you about the different marketing worlds out there and how traditional yes. finance varies from the world of crypto. I would say it's much slower paced in a sense, where you have time to think, plan campaigns, uh, you know, you have one to two years out. Where this you is can, traditional finance? Traditional finance, right. sorry. Yeah, so you have you know plenty of time to do it. Your competitors are moving much more slowly, kind of at the same pace you are. So you to be one step ahead, it's not as challenging. Here, I would say that there are, in the world of crypto, there are companies popping up every day that you may not even be aware of. Yeah, no, it moves at lightning speed. And definitely the idea of creating this long-term promotional strategy or two years out, it doesn't even seem feasible at all in this space because two years later, we don't know what the tech is going to look like. No, and you don't even know which companies are exist. I mean, I have to come to events like Consensus just to see the plethora of new companies popping up every day. Mm -hmm. And when you do, when you see this, it gets a little bit scary at first, but once you, uh, I guess, are baptized by the fire in a sense, you uh, you get used to it. Right, and what was your role previously in the world of traditional finance? So I led the digital marketing team at WorldPay, and prior to that I was actually at Sandals Resorts. So quite a pivot from uh, the C2B to a B2B world. With BitPay, are you mainly dealing with B2B? We actually have a very strong B2B uh, presence, mainly cross-border, uh, transactional, uh, large business to business transactions, but we also have a consumer product which is our wallet as well as our BitPay card. Mm -hmm. So BitPay card allows you to liquidate cryptocurrency uh, you know, at a restaurant, for instance, if you want to. And those are products are very, there's a very large dichotomy between the two. How have the crypto audiences changed and how have your consumers yeah. changed over the years? They're very apt to change their sentiment very quickly. Um, I would say that when you're in their good graces, you're in their good graces. When you're not, you're not. Um, turn on you. <laughs> they, it, does, it does happen. Um, but it's kind of the nice thing about crypto, right? I listened to Hester Pierce, the SEC commissioner, yesterday, yes. and she was saying that, you know, when the government puts their stamp of approval on things, uh, the population tends to stop looking critically at products. They just presume, oh, it's given the tick of approval from the SEC, it's all good. Yes. But I love the crypto space that it is constantly vigilant. It is looking at products and digging into things, finding holes. So have you found that that sort of a response from the crypto community has helped keep, uh, you know, BitPay on its toes? Um, yes, it has, and it's you know created its level of challenges that we've had to overcome and really come together from a compliance standard. Mm -hmm. um, again, I think the legitimacy aspect of it is is crucial for BitPay, and we pride ourselves on being uh, you know as compliant as need be, and to make sure we keep criminals off our platform, and at the same time allowing the freedom of payments right. and advance the advancement of it as well. Right, and how have you seen the narrative in crypto change over the years? Oh, I would say it's extremely volatile. I've watched it evolve, and I think as people jump on the bandwagon, it becomes more and more popular. And now we're really at a mainstream level where people that didn't know anything about crypto in 2011 are obsessed with it. <laughs> right, so. there is this level of obsession. Does that feed into your marketing strategies for, for BitPay? Because for a lot of people, this isn't just a payment processor. This isn't just a form of payment. This isn't just a currency. This is a way of life. This is a philosophy. So how do you like walk that fine line? Um, the, the, I guess with the B2B side, it's much less of an obsession as it is a use case where, you know, if I want to pay somebody in China and they get them, you know, their currency the next day, that is a very strong use case for us. So it does, the obsession aspect is kind of out of that. However, we can get people excited about our card program where they realize, hey, I made $1,000, the Bitcoin price went up yesterday. Boom, I can spend it at, you know, I can go to Home Depot and buy something. And also in our wallet, if you want to buy an Amazon gift card, you can do that. So you have the ability to liquidate through our products. And that's where we can get the obsessed consumer on board. What are some of the main challenges you faced in the crypto space? Just having to react to changes. Um, I would say our product team also has to react and develop very quickly. And with them pivoting and uh, developing, we have to always be on our toes as marketing. Right. And you know, as the rest of the industry does. So. Right, well, well done on the job you're doing. BitPay provides a great service for people. So congratulations and thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it.